It was the hottest he had ever been, and he couldn't see anything. That's what a Henry County deputy tells us about his attempted rescue of a man trapped in his burning home. That grandfather and his four-year-old granddaughter died in that blaze. But as RTV6's Derek Thomas reports, the deputy will be recognized for his efforts. Deputy Derek Hall was so heroic that Sheriff Rick McCorkle is creating a Medal of Valor to recognize his actions. I can't praise him enough for his, his attempts uh, to try to save that man's life. It's above and beyond, sir. We're trying to get him out. We're highly luck right now. He's within reach. We just can't get him from the heat. That is the voice of 33-year-old Deputy Derek Hall on his police radio talking to colleagues about the situation. Hall is a five-year veteran of the department. He tried three times to pull 52-year-old Michael Dale out of the window of the home. Dale's four-year-old granddaughter, Jenna, was already out. But later perished. Hall could not see through the smoke. It was incredibly hot, so hot that it was beginning to melt his body armor. You can see the holes in the fabric of the vest. I didn't know at the time whether or not if he was alive or not, um, or he had already passed. But you had a hold of him. There was no sign of life coming from him. But you had a hold of him. Correct. And you, how close were you to getting him out? Um, we got him about four and a half to five feet from the window. The Medal of Valor that Hall will receive will look much like this. We have for many years had Officer of the Year, but I feel like this is one of those situations where if you look at that residence and then you talk to the individuals who were there, um, it's one of those that he should be recognized. But if I had to go back into another house to save somebody or to do the best that I could, I would without blinking an eye. That Medal of Valor will be presented to Deputy Hall next week. In Henry County, Derek Thomas, RTV6. Deputy Hall was treated and released at the hospital for smoke inhalation the day of the fire. He told RTV6 he has never had any fire rescue training. He says he respects the job firefighters do more than ever.